pretty much the only reason why I'm in here. Let's see what they have a body here. I'm already liking what I see already. You Just, know. You know. Or else, you know, you'll you're you're playing a dangerous game with bacteria at the speed of light. Mouthwash, questionable. Cause I don't want my breath to smell like the barbecue. That's the only hint I'll give you. Oh. to ya as you can see i like wearing this top a lot at home i like it anywho it's time to see what they have in these stores last time i wanted to go to target walmart now it's target time before we do so we gotta get ready i'm actually looking forward to seeing them have the strawberry scrub in target although i already have one yeah, I, I'm, I'm really curious to see what they have this time around. I feel really refreshed. It's still morning time. I didn't sleep in this time because of the stores, the number of stores that I want to get to. Let's get ready. <laughs> done a derma planning on my acne prone skin yet and it's been over a year since I did it for the first time a little mini update for that my my skin started peeling in, in the weeks following when I did that and my skin was peeling and at first I thought it was a bad idea but then as the months progressed then I found that the scars on my face started to lift and my skin started to look lighter. So I still do it occasionally. I just only in spots where I need it. And of course, to shake my eyebrows and everything. But for the most part, this is the brightest my skin has been. work going on in the background that's what it is i really can't afford to wait until it's over because i don't i never know how long they're out there smell like coconut butter and cocoa butter i'm not sure what i'm gonna wear to be honest with you but you'll see that in the fit i don't know if they have any sale i just i just want to get there This is that Johnson baby oil gel and shea butter and cocoa butter. And for me, it's a matter of if I buy something, it'll be very few things that I buy. I just want to see what they have. <laughs> Take care. Tarjay. Not a entrance. Excuse me. Current store hours. You gotta look for a basket. I know you guys can't see me. Well, pretty much the only reason why I'm in here. Let's see what they have a body here. I'm in a different location than last time. Have to take a detour or not? Okay, not the same layout as the other. So, first thing, want to check out see if they have the tree hut.
and I'm really going to have to spend my time here. Yeah, I'm already liking what I see already. You know, I forgot to do my fit before I even left the house. It'll be on the thumbnail. So, this is what I meant when I said I like what I was seeing. So, I've never heard of this brand before. This is Good Chemistry. It smells okay. It smells more floral than, you know, I would like. So, there's that. Here's a tester of Cocoa Blush. Now, I might like that. I don't see where the the notes are for that. And we have here Cheerful Charmer. Let's get the tester of this and smell it. Smells okay. Pink Palm. You know I'm just going to smell all of these. It smells okay. It smells very fruity. Perfect for spring and summer, which we're heading into very soon. And we have the tree hut. Now, I didn't think the tree hut was down here. <laughs> so, the last time I was at... Target, not this particular location because I wanted to see what they had here. They did not have the strawberry and they said that they would be in stock at a certain time. I still got to head back to that one. As far as this Tahitian vanilla bean, I've had this before. I think I'm going to pick this up. I have a review of this already on my channel, but I definitely need to do a one-year update on this to see if I still feel the same way about it as I did before. So you know what time it is? It's in there. <laughs> we have coconut lime. I have a review for that. We have vitamin C. I have yet to get to that. Cotton candy. So there's the Tahitian vanilla bean. Now the only thing about this, and I'm not going to open it, but you're seeing that the cap is open. And um, that, that just makes me real particular about uh, what bottle I'm getting. I get that you want to smell it and everything, but you know, you gotta close those things back. That's, that's just me, especially with this panorama out here. Yeah. Have here, sugar face scrubs. I'm a little nervous to try these because I already have like a regimen for exfoliating my skin. <sighs> so I'm just very picky about it skin on my face particular rose hip and argan oils that's one of the new body butters in tree hut spring collection i know i said summer collection but i found out a couple days after i did that ulta haul that it was spring collection i'm just like okay well i can't correct that and edit that out <laughs> Coco Colada. I haven't even gotten to the scrub with this. This is part of the spring collection as well. Tropic Glow Body Butter. This was last year's summer collection. Then we have Tropic Glow. I have a review of this on my channel. A lot of these I won't be able to add a link in the top right, so I'll just put it in a pinned comment at the top. Then we have here the body oil. So this looks like the Target store brand to Neutrogena's body oil. Very lightly fragrant type of oils. I like the ideal there. We got Dr. Teal's. And Dr. Teal's is stepping up their game uh, earlier this year or either last year they came out with these scrubs here. I'd like to try the Dr. Teal's, the vitamin C. This looks like the Glow Radiance with Pink Himalayan Sea Salt. Then we have a Lavender Collection, which is not to be confused with their Melatonin Collection. Now, if you're looking for a great night's rest, you could try this Lavender, but I would suggest Dr. Till's 
melatonin like um, this soak here I have not yet gotten to that and we have menstrual relief refresh and revitalize just some really great varieties we have vitamin C wellness therapy black elderberry I still want to try that eucalyptus and spearmint and just pink Himalayan mineral soak Now, if you're trying to get your kiddos to have a great night's sleep, or maybe they fight their sleep, um, you have it for kids. Sleep bath. I already have a review of this on my channel. I'll instead link you to the playlist with the whole entire collection I've reviewed so far. Everything but the sleep soap. I'm going to have the bath. bottles here and there's also a body wash to this the melatonin collection but I haven't seen that then we have here this is from the bath and body collection so so we have a handful of these masks so we have watermelon foot peel I want to try to pronounce this the best way that I can. The um, Baku Chio hand mask. I probably completely butchered that. <laughs> we have Holler and Glow. I have foot mask. I like seeing that. Um, yeah, that's that's interesting. Shake your yeah yeah. There's I'm not going to do it. Lip mask. Eye mask. The thing I am liking here is there's just really no excuse for you to have or like a whole entire body care regimen. I like this. A lot. There's mud mask, there's gel mask, aloe vera, if you like to brighten your skin, there's that, tea tree. I like that there's a lot of options. And we have here our beloved, beloved. Get it? Okay, if you didn't, that's fine. <laughs> so we have beloved. I like this collection even though I have not gotten into it yet. Cause whatever scent they have there's an entire collection for it body cream there's even candles there's that hand soap chilling in the back there's a fragrance mist whipped body scrub body wash shower gel then we have green tea and eucalyptus this is nice now, eucalyptus is a category of fragrance, not really, not really my style, but if you love it, might want to head over here to Target. Then we have a lavender and chamomile tea. Now, the only thing I'm not seeing here is the strawberry and brown sugar. I have yet to review that, so you know the review for that is coming. Yeah. Definitely was expecting to see the strawberry and brown sugar, but that's fine. I, I've already gotten what I need to do. So we have here what you bathe with. So I'm still good on these shower, mesh, shower pools, whatever you call them. Just make sure you're switching those out at least twice a month. Just, you know, or else, you know, you'll... You're, you're playing a dangerous game with bacteria at the speed of light. Just, just want to throw that out there. I like how they have these split colors. Great. Or you can have to try something a bit more festive. There is a mini massager. In case you don't go to a masseuse. And they have a whole bunch of bath bombs here.
smoothie bomb. The bomb, fun size. I really have to give the credit to whoever's on the marketing team for naming these. Kiwi strawberry bath fizzer with a surprise inside. I wonder what the surprise is. I, I don't. <laughs> They have shower bombs, so I, I'd have to opt for those versus the bath bombs. Earth bomb. For the reason that this looks like the planet Earth, I would not want to use this. It's one of those things you would make a souvenir. This is really cool. Unicorn bomb. This reminds me of tie-dye. I think I'd want to save this as a souvenir too and not use it. I'm afraid of glitter being on the shower floor. <laughs> I was almost going to leave this out, but I got to show you guys what's behind me as well. Now, just in the previous video I was discussing, about self-care and taking care of your temple mind body and spirit so this really quick if you're not taking vitamins might be a good time to start just want to throw that out there ollie has a good brand of those i've yet to get into those and if i do it would probably be the melatonin and as you can see there's vitamins for everything for immunity sleep literally right there i just said yeah. that <laughs> perfect time grape dr bronner's cast style soap and i gotta show you guys the shea moisture Facial scrubs. Neutrogena is, is always on the top of the game with skincare. There's a few brands here I haven't seen just yet. And there's Pacifica. These are facial masks, in case you guys were wondering. It's a whole collection geared towards benefiting your skin a certain way. So, if you're needing collagen, there's it's vegan. There's that. You want an even toned skin, there's a whole collection for that. I, I like seeing these because it, it's really a great collective collection. You don't have to buy from two and three different brands to come up with a whole skincare regimen, which is a really great thing and it makes it more convenient. Bert's Bees had the facial mask. Got a collection here for acne. Makeup wipes, facial wipes. We have a dark spot corrector, eye cream, farming day lotion. Now, I won't be picking this up because I have a skincare regimen of my own, but I do like that there's a glowing face balm and it's in a type of packaging. It kind of reminds you of chapstick. It's made to be portable on the go. And can't forget to moisturize your lips, so can't be going out there with chop lips. Just, just don't, don't. Summer's almost here. See what we have on the next aisle. Uh, 
for a hair care. Okay. And I just saw the uh, Eco Styler. I haven't used that in probably well over a year, and I still have like a big jar of the Eco Styler gel. Come down here to the Isle of Greatness. <laughs> Yeah. This is basically feminine hygiene, feminine care. If you haven't seen my Amazon favorites video, this is one, in one of my favorites. Yeah. Then, you know, there's the team version. I have not seen that one before. I mean, there's a whole aisle I'm going to scale. Of everything. Tampax Radiant. Forgot to put that on my favorites list for Amazon. And we have Tampax Pearl. I tend to get the super. But let's see here. Now, there's a couple brands I've tried over the years where I just stick with Tampax for the tampons and always for the pads. So there's Playtex, there's even organic of both now out there that I'm showing you guys. Menstrual discs. I, I, I don't know. I don't know about those. This, the discs, the menstrual cups. This is not my, my forte. I like the packaging. The packaging is cute. I like the concept of everything. Just, just not, not for me. Just, just no. Just, just no. And this looks like it is like eco-friendly packaging. Space saving as well. Then there's liners. Now I've not seen this. I don't think they're, they come in scented, but I. Okay, I'll, always. I see you always. I see you. <laughs> of course, I always get these. He's asking a question of where I'm trying to find the eye wash. Always clean, sensitive wash. I like the packaging and I like the new products. Okay. There's Summer's Eve. We have Vagisil. I haven't even gotten into this and my doll. And we have the wipes. Definitely an essential to take with you ladies. Definitely. Then, you know, take care of your lady parts. You got that too. So guy in the background is asking for bar of soap. I'm trying to find the body washes in the bar of soap. That is what I've not found yet. So, the good thing is, we've come across the tree hut. They have the new strawberry. They have, they have the new tree hut scrubs, strawberry. I didn't see pineapple. I didn't see candied lemon. But I saw a few of the other new things from this year's spring collection and a majority of last year's summer collection, which I have reviewed for all of the scrubs from last year's summer collection. I'll just link you to a playlist. But let us find the body washes and the bar soaps. This oral care. We can go down that well. We can do that. So we have the body washes here. I feel like I've seen that Colgate one at another store in another Vogue. Then we have Crest Advanced Scope. Biotene Smart Mouth. <laughs> Get it? No, it's okay. Thera Breath. 
sure what is this price here i think i shall wait i'm not out of mine yet still don't need the breast smelling hot though yeah okay um you have to excuse me so if you if you chuckle that that's that's the intended um mission activated charcoal mouthwash this is why I'm a little nervous into implementing charcoal into my body care and overall self-care. Body washes might be okay when it comes with a sweeter note. Mouthwash, questionable. Because I don't want my breath to smell like barbecue. No. Um, that was my first thought. It might actually be good, you know, a minty charcoal. It might actually be good, but I'm going to let it stay here on the shelf and look at reviews and see if anyone else has tried it. And I'll use this as a reference point. I make it a point if I see new brands of anything, not just here with oral care, that um, I reserve my comments and judgment for it until I try it, if I ever do. Yeah. Still don't want my mouth to smell like barbecue though. I'm worried, I really am. Listerine. Uh, good old classic Listerine. I've not seen plaques in years. <laughs> Some of these brands, you can tell they've, they've been in the game the longest. Like brands you're familiar with, you're like, okay, I'll go with that. Brands you're not, it's just like this one. Just, I don't know yet. There's Floss Picks, which I'm a big fan of well over traditional floss and it has to be minty fix a dent poly grip this other side here native has a charcoal toothpaste we'll get we'll get to it don't worry i'm still worried about my breath smelling like the barbecue if i use that And this is mostly like for kids, so I like how there's a dedicated section within the aisle for this. Elmo. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing this song because they're not finna copyright strike me. <laughs> there's um, Colgate Optic White with charcoal. So this must be either a trend or something in which is pretty much being implemented within every major toothpaste, toothpaste, what's wrong with my words, toothpaste oral care brand. So I've seen Colgate, I've seen the other brand with the charcoal mouthwash. We have Colgate and we have Native. We have Sensodyne. Sensodyne is pretty good, especially if you have a, a teeth sensitivity. But just just brush your teeth with it. It's, don't gargle with this. Don't. <laughs> it's a mouthwash. I don't see Crest. Anyone remember our Aquafesh and Aim? Like, oh my goodness. They've been in the game for the longest. I as much about as oh, how old I am. They were in stores when I was a kid. We have Crest whitening strips. Then we have Arc. I've never seen that brand before. Now here's the native charcoal with mint toothpaste I was talking about. Seems like a great concept. I'm just I have concerns about how my breath's going to smell. Burt's Bees. I love seeing brands step outside of their comfort zone of what they normally produce. Oh, my apologies. Now we have Crest. Excuse me. Oh, go right ahead. No problem. Then we have Arm and Hammer. I forgot they made toothpaste. There's Crest. I was looking for that. And 
got a value pack, two pack. I believe they come in three on Amazon. Now this is the one I've been trying currently, Crest with the Scope. Still doesn't stop me from using mouthwash. I still think you should still gargle right after you brush. Just, just my opinion. Then there's Deep Clean. Clean mix. Getting to the body wash after walking down several aisles. Alright, $9.99 and under. So we have Dove from the Body Love Collection. I'm going to save rhyming for later. Alright, so we have the Moisture Boost Body Cleanser. I already have a review of this on my channel. Then we have Age Embrace. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that. Then we have the pre cleanse Shower Butter. First of its kind. We have Native. Lilac. White Tea. Cucumber Mint. Coconut and Vanilla. I think I'm going to grace my senses by smelling this. I like it. Does Native have shampoos and conditioners yet? Because it smells like one. Then there's Raw Sugar. I almost forgot about this brand. They have um, body scrubs I've yet to try. And here we are. And we have the deodorants here. I've not seen if it'll focus. <laughs> uh, Smith's. I'm not going to try to pronounce that again. I feel like I butchered it. Vanilla and oat milk, charcoal and magnesium, rose vanilla, lavender and sage. We have Secrets Clinical Deodorant. Then we have the deodorant that smells like different arrays of fruit and vanilla and almonds and coke, coke butter. Okay. Then we have the two packs, value packs, degree. Then we have the spray on deodorant from Dove. Hey humans. <laughs> so there's already a greeting on a deodorant. I like I like that. I like that. That's that's a statement piece. Then we have aluminum free deodorant, which I have one from native I've yet to get into. Yeah, I got the coconut and vanilla from native. Picked that up in my CVS vlog from last year. Have not yet gotten to it yet. It, it's just one. I think that's the best thing to do when you want to try a new product. Just, just get one of them and see how you feel about it when you try it. Then we have Tom's of Maine. We have Dove, of course. I mean, Dove. the body washes here so seems like this took an accidental beating drop somewhere deep moisture so if you're wondering um, just how much moisturization you're going to get I have a review of my channel for this particular body wash then we have sensitive skin we have the Dove original Scentless, just original. We're here with the bar of soaps, finally. That would have been the second place I came to, but they've obviously moved things around. If you're looking for a gentle exfoliation, I got a review for this on my channel, too. Then there's always the uh, Target brands. I am nearing the end of this one, so I'm debating whether or not I should pick it up. Lavender oil and chamomile. Finally got my hands on this one. Coconut and cocoa butter. 
there is body wash concentrate so if you are product conscious you want to get the most out of your body care you might want to try body wash concentrate kind of works like the the grape juice concentrate that Welch's I believe used to come out with and you add water to it after pouring a can into a pitcher like that same concept but with body wash we have here Dove's body polish in uh, crushed almond and mango butter. Buy once, refill for life. Just want to give you guys another gander of that. Finally, in person, the Age Embrace the Pre Cleanse Shower Butter for that. I think what Dove should do, since they have two pre-cleansed shower butters for these two varieties they need one for acne clear they need one for the sun embrace and and just the rest of the body love collection might want to grab this um body polish again i'm debating i've tried this before there's no review yet then we have Olay balances even skin, nourishes for glowing skin, restores soft, silky skin. I have here cleansing and firming. Someone has opened it. I understand, you know, popping the cap open to smell it, but you know, it's definitely some sanitary concerns. That that's all. That's my my comment about it. Ceramide. Looking for that, um, the cocoa butter one. Of course, you can't forget the bars of soap. Pink one, gentle exfoliating one. I one for the cucumber one. Coconut butter, cocoa butter. There's Irish Spring. This is the notes of orchid and black currant. I'm gonna smell this one. White strawberry and mint. Birch water and lavender. Here's the rinse off body conditioner. Yeah. I'll get one of these. Then there's Cetaphil. First time I'm seeing that body wash. Same eyes. There's a Vino. I've not seen this one. The Brightener Vitamin C Body Wash. Yeah, there's just quite a bit of them I haven't seen before. Crest, the Daily Silk Double Pack. I have a review for that on my channel. Of course, this is um, Liquid Gold. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Crest, Shea Butter and Brown Sugar. Definitely have a review for this on my channel already. Then we have the mega bottles of everything. Focus. There we go. Lavender, the shea butter, the white strawberry and mint, birch water and lavender. Then we have suave. I'm seeing a pattern here. Dial soap. Then we have the shower pools. Then we have the bigger bottle here of the Native Coconut and Vanilla Body Wash. Body Wash Sheets. Okay, isn't that the equivalent of body, body wipes? Personal wipes? Okay, Body Wash Roll. Uh, body Wash Roll. Okay. Um, I'm intrigued. Not sure what to do with that, but yeah. And we can't forget OGX. 
coconut coffee scrub and wash review on the channel coconut oil coconut miracle oil body wash will soon be a review up sea kelp and hyaluronic acid this does not smell like the bad part of the ocean I got a review let me talk to you about it on that video Then we have the Myers hand soap. Then we have Olay. I'm just really loving how there are brands that would not have normally come out with bars of soap that have bars of soap out here. I mean, this is the cutest thing, like hand soap for kids and they look like little characters. <laughs> Even raw sugar has the hand soap. Then Method has it gone there's Target's brand hand soap for refills the soft soap has one here I haven't seen before warm vanilla and coconut milk of course you always have the hand sanitizer and we have the dial soft soap. and at last we're down to the last aisle not really much to cover but I never really like to leave the men out because you guys need to implement self-care too we have here just for men aging getting older is a blessing so you know if you still want to touch up the gray hairs that's, that's none of my business I'm just showing you it's out there <laughs> ah, I didn't know um is this Al Pacino's line I'll have to look it up by the time this video comes out you'll know whether or not this is his collection or not anything for the man of your life I'm just showing you what um, options are available out there Rogaine we're not going to go there I'm just showing you what's out there bars <laughs> I walked into that let's try not to rhyme and wound up rhyming anyway we have the mega size. Yeah, this is definitely a trend going here, but I like it. Old Spice, Dove. Then we have Method. I've heard mixed things about Method for women. Can't speak on that. I haven't tried it yet, so definitely can't say anything about the men. Tremo. I want to smell this. This looks like a really fine cologne. Oh yeah, that that smells. <laughs> it smells really good. They need a cologne. <laughs> Do we have Harry's? Um, Do we have the whole spread here of matching deodorants from pretty much the same brands? We have the razors. Yeah. Then we have the clippers down there. pretty much it so I think that concludes our trip to Target and seeing what their body care is like mm -hmm. one thing I would like to see is the um, a lot more of a section dedicated to the men's self-care body care products because literally it was just that one aisle that's it it was just one aisle I don't see any body scrubs for the men I'm just saying you know men need to have that effort placed into them I know with women it's like oh I have this body scrub and this perfume men need something dedicated as well and by the time you guys see me again you know where I'll be we're out so heading to our next spot so this is my fit after I have come back to the onboard boat 
And I love the graphic t-shirts. Strong and pretty. Yeah. I didn't realize I didn't show you guys my fit until I came back home. I'm like, that's just still a, a little too late. But it's okay. Let me show you guys my haul. Trying to get into my Target haul, which was not very big to begin with. The first thing picked up, definitely Tree Hut. This has been out already, but I loved it so much the first time. Tahitian Vanilla Bean. I got a review of this already on my channel, so I won't rehash what I already think about it. If you guys would like to see an update, oh, please let me know. Because it, it, it's been at least a year since I have tried it. And I haven't repurchased it until today. I love the fact that this doesn't smell like your traditional vanilla. Tropical. That's the only hint I'll give you. And then lastly, I picked up here the Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner. I think I was looking for this at the other Target and my other Target vlog. But I didn't see it. Definitely saw it in this one. Love it. That's all. That's that's all for Target. It's been a full, been a full day. <laughs> I love each and every one of you. And until next time.